All right, going to take the KLR on about a, I don't know, four to 500 mile trip today. I'm headed to Monster Mountain MX in Tallahassee, Alabama, I believe is how you say it. They're having a, uh, it seems like I'm yelling, I, I wear earplugs anytime I ride because of the wind noise. But uh, they're having a uh, the southeast uh, quad championship series. Uh, I think it's a wrap up of it. Plus, they're having uh, the old school three wheelers out there. They're gonna let them race like the old uh, ATC 250Rs. Uh, Yamaha's 250 Tri-Z, the Kawasaki Takati. Uh, they'll be out there racing. I don't know how many will show up as far as that goes. They're also going to run the, uh, I think they call them UTVs, you know, the buggies, Ranger, Razors, all that. So it should be a blast. 685 big war kit is well broke in now I think I have 18 not quite got a little over 4,000 miles on the big war kit so figured it'd be a nice day to ride it's uh, fall weather's here at least the last couple days I don't know how long it'll stay Probably get back hot, but figured I'd ride up there. Whole reason I got a dual sport is uh, what they're made for: go off road and hit the hit the highway. I see a lot of dual sport guys that. Might as well just have a dirt bike because they don't ride them on the street. I think the reason why is because uh, the areas around here that they have to ride, you, it has to have a tag, and uh, so you can ride in the like Blackwater River. Uh, I'm not sure about I think Eglin as well. You gotta have it registered and have a tag. Otherwise they could just get a dirt bike because they pretty much trailer them everywhere anyway anyhow. I'd rather use a dual sport like a dual sport. Stop to get a little sip of coffee and uh stretch a little bit. Pulled up in this abandoned, uh, well, Burger King apparently closed it down, but I didn't stop to eat anyhow. Been, uh, 99 miles so far, so just gonna stretch my legs and, uh, throttle hands going to sleep. I, my grip puppies I had on here wore out, so my throttle hands going to sleep. Uh, it's going good so far, though. Uh, turns out I'm right here at where they make uh, Koneka sausage. So, that's a... Uh, I'm running the stock gearing on this thing. I went back to the 15 tooth a while back. I guess after I had the 685 kit installed I rode it for a little bit with a 16 it did good but I ended up going back to 15 tooth front sprocket and uh, this first hundred miles I've been running anywhere from 65 to 75 and uh, that was fun
made it to Monster Mountain. I'm at 204 miles so far, and I haven't got any gas, so I probably have to go to reserve to get back to where I can get some fuel. That was the old RC track. How you doing? <laughs> I don't know about that, but it made it here 204 miles so far. Oh, wow. What, where are you from? Uh, you ever heard of Gulf Shores, Alabama? Okay, well, I'm real close to that. That's the closest thing you'd recognize, probably. Awesome. Well, welcome. Shoot. Welcome. Shoot, yeah. Are you uh, nah, I'm just here to watch the quads and uh, awesome. hopefully some three-wheelers and UTVs showed up. Look at mine. I enjoyed it. Uh, Are you bored to death down here? No, I'm about to leave. I'm not bored at all. Good deal. I'm clean and ready to go. Shoot, yeah. So now you go back to Pensac uh, Gulf Shores? That area. It's, a, it's called, I'm kind of like uh, right at the Florida line, so it. it 